Hello friends, this is Vijay Bambwani and in this video, I want to address the issue of something that you must have no doubt heard about in the public domain, on social media, mainstream media, being whispered or even yelled across uh, chat rooms. Is there a super cycle boom in the metals slash hard asset markets in the commodities space? Now this is connected with inflation, with bond yields and uh, uh, so many of these hypotheses are floating around that I thought it would be a good idea to record a video on the topic. Friends, I'm Vijay Bambwani, a trader with 35 years of trading experience under my belt, 28 of which are as a founder, promoter and CEO of a limited company that trades for a living. So when I uh, uh, speak uh, in these videos, I tend to put forth my views as a doer of deeds rather than uh, uh, a theoretical uh, uh, person. So what is a super cycle? Typically speaking, a super cycle where price is concerned, we as traders, I'm going to keep it simple. We as traders are concerned with the price and in a super cycle or a grand super cycle, prices tend to leap up by huge ma uh, quantities, by huge magnitudes. The impetus, which is the velocity and the acceleration in price is extremely, extremely strong. And you will see upper circuits in prices many a times. And the bulls are so strong that your traditional indicators, for example, oscillators might just remain overbought for extended periods of time. Just when you think a correction is around the corner, there will be no correction and prices will hit new highs. Now in commodities, super cycles can be created by two various, two different factors. And these two different factors will determine what will be the qualitative aspect of the rally. It's not just about the quantity, it's also about the quality. Believe me, a poor quality rally is something you don't want. So let me first explain the difference between commodities and equities. That financial markets determine prices by effect of demand and supply is something that you already know. In the case of equities, there is one thing which is extremely peculiar, which I'm sure you as an astute investor slash trader would have thought about. The supply of shares is constant, which is because the paid up capital of a company doesn't change from day to day. Demand can change from minute to minute, hour to hour, day or week or month to month. It can also be stimulated by interested parties using various platforms. So it is easy to drive up the share price of a company from rupee 1 to 1000. As long as you keep buying, you can push it up because you know that you've cornered the shares and no supply is going to come. The paid up capital remains constant. Now take for example, base metals. The most uh, uh, common uh, base metals are aluminium and iron ore. As a matter of fact, 8% of the earth's crust is made up of aluminium. So chances are, barring uh, uh, water bodies, bar barring mountains and hills, barring the deserts, anywhere you dig, say 50 to 100 meters into the earth, you will find some amount of aluminium. So whenever prices of commodities start jumping up, all you need to do is dig more the mining companies will dig more and produce more aluminium or for that matter any other metal and they'll start to lock in their prices. But in the case of a super cycle where there is a shortage of aluminium and the demand is the actual demand by producers is so big that no matter how much the companies sell, there is demand for more and more metals and the buyers are even willing to pay higher prices. On the other hand, there is another type of a super cycle where the demand is not there. All right. So the producers will curtail the output, which has happened in Corona. Many companies, many miners are seeing crippling amount of shortage of labor. And remember, mines are underground 
with very little fresh ventilation. So this is a breeding ground for any kind of infections, especially like COVID. You can't expect them to be masked all the time and taking oxygen cylinders and breathing through uh, 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 like a scuba diver through a pipe or a hose. So this is fraught with risk and there are supply cuts. But at the same time, there is so much of unbacked currency being printed that this money has to find avenues to get itself invested and not just invested, earn profits from it. So how do you earn profit after investing money in something? Remember, you're not shorting, you're investing. So you buy something in large quantities, subdue the output and want the price to go up. In my humble opinion, I'm uh, uh, open to the idea that you can agree to disagree with me or even disagree and disagree with me. Keep uh, uh, the lines of communication open, bouquet, brickbats, uh, uh, flaming, whatever it is that you want to do, do it in the comment section. I welcome this with open arms. So I'm of the humble opinion that the commodity markets are going up, the metals markets are going up. Not because demand has shot up, but because a supply has been curtailed either deliberately or due to Corona compulsions and b there is huge amount of money floating into the market and that wants to basically push prices higher. Now, as I record this video, it is the evening of Thursday. All right. And on my computer trading terminal, I'm seeing a 4% decline in copper and a 6% decline in nickel. As a matter of fact, nickel has been in a free fall since the last couple of days. Are these the indications of prices which are so strong that there is a grand super cycle around? You need to think for yourself. If it was a grand super cycle or even a super cycle, prices would not be hitting lower circuits. Prices would not be in a free fall. As a matter of fact, nickel in the absolute number of rupees has seen triple digit falls. And it has been in a state of uh, extreme uh, sell off since at least two and a half sessions. And there are nothing but bullish reports about the steel industry. And you cannot manufacture steel unless you mix iron ore with nickel. You cannot have any industrial activity unless you uh, uh, basically input, uh, you, uh, you use copper. Copper is known as the tin roof of the economy. It is known as Dr. Copper because it measures the uh, 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 health of the manufacturing economy. If at all the health of the manufacturing economy is so good, why is copper down 4%? I'm not saying that uh, you should be shorting anything at all. That's premature. All I'm telling you is that there are two types of super cycles. One is speculative in nature, the other is built on solid fundamentals of demand increase. Look around you. Are you actually seeing manufacturing, production, construction activity pick up so much that these metals are absolutely in short supply? Take a walk down Masjid Bandar, take a walk down Daru Khana, take a walk down uh, Dana Bandar and take a walk down Ray Road. This is Mumbai's market and let me tell you, not just Mumbai, it is the largest scrap dealers market in Asia. I have been for the last uh, uh, over 15 to 17 years been on television and uh, up to 2015 I was on TV every day. I have cultivated so much of uh, contacts in these areas. All it takes is for you to pick up the phone and ask the scrap dealer how much metal is being lapped up by eager buyers or is he just sitting and having cutting chai because there is no business. I leave the decision to you. On this cheerful note, I bid goodbye to you in this video, not before reminding you to click like on this video if you liked what you saw, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so, click on the bell icon to receive alerts for uh, new videos being uploaded here. In the comment section, Send me whatever you have. Love, hate, bouquets, brickbats. I accept everything. And help me spread the word of knowledge-based investments and trades by recommending your, my videos to your family and friends. Have a very, very profitable day. Stay safe. Don't get carried away by what you hear and see in the media. Exercise your own caution. 
एंड लेट्स बी केयरफुल आउट देयर थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो विजय विजय अंबानी साइनिंग ऑफ फॉर नाउ टेक केयर बाय सो डू नॉट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई फ्री ई मेल न्यूज लेटर फास्ट प्रॉफिट डेली एंड गेट माई फ्री गाइड हाउ टू ट्रेड मार्केट्स लाइक अ प्रो